everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. How are you doing today? I've been doing a unboxing of a 20 pound lot of mixed jewelry. I won in an online auction at shopgoodwill.com. Uh, part one and part two have already posted. So today is gonna be part three. I'm thinking I might have to do another two videos at least two more videos to get this stuff all in box. 20 pounds is quite a bit. A lot more than doing the smaller five pound lots. So here's my housekeeping. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. That way I know people are watching these videos and I will continue to make content. Also, if you wanna be notified anytime I have new content, just click the notification bell and you'll get a message when I've got new videos ready to watch. And if, although I list a lot of this stuff on my eBay store, um, if there's anything you see in this video you're interested in and it's not on my store, you can reach out to me, sales at thecreativecottage.net. Just let me know what video you're watching, the timestamp of the items you're interested in, a brief description, and we'll start the conversation. And at first, I'm gonna get my cat off my desk. Say hello. Here's my shadow kitty, getting into trouble as usual. <laughs> I gotta pop her off the desk real quick. Okay, come on. There you go. So yesterday I did all earrings. They were nice enough to put in all the earrings in this lot in a separate bag, which you usually don't find. Usually the earrings are just clumped in together with everything else. But um, yeah. So I got a couple of bracelets to start. I've got this one, looks like all different kinds of beads, glass, metal, maybe even a gemstone or two on a little toggle class. Oh, that's cute, a little heart. And I've got this stretchy bracelet, just looks like a shell or brown dyed shell. I always worry about the stretchy bracelets. Um, a lot of times I recommend just restringing them because you don't know how old the cord is and the elastic ends up losing its stretchability and then you end up with beads everywhere. Big mess. And ooh, this one's going into crafting. Um, I'm going to start making some of my own um, bracelets and necklaces. Um, I bought a couple of lots of um, the jewelry findings, the chains and the head pins and all that kind of stuff. Um, I used to own a bead store years ago and I still have some beads left over. So, oops, yep, see this is falling apart. But this used to be a stretchy bracelet and see it kind of came undone and the beads are starting to go everywhere. This is kind of funky. These are these little kind of dumbbell looking beads with a little rhinestone on either end. So I can turn this one bracelet into many different necklaces and bracelets, maybe even earrings. So instead of just doing solid beads like they did here, I would mix this up with other types of beads and spacers and whatever. And I hope we're not going to have too big of a tangle. Um, the first video I did was all bigger stuff on the outside of the bundle. Uh, it was pretty easy to go through, but now I'm seeing a lot of chains in the center of the bundle, so don't know if that can, is gonna mean I have a big tangle or tangle. And here's another bracelet. This one I'll probably put right in crafts. This is another elastic bracelet, but it's hardly stretching at all. You can see the elastic is all like yellow and discolored and it's really not stretching, but there's a lot of great beads in here, glass and metallic. So I'll do something with that. Probably take these drops and attach them to a chain. I'm gonna monkey a bunch of those, you know, we do the wire wrapped loops and attach them to chains so they kind of look like charm bracelets almost. So I think I'll do that, make a bracelet or two with the drops and then these beads, I might work into a necklace. Mm, what's next? Ooh, finally a wearable piece. It's a clamper bracelet, gold tone, rhinestones, and oh, 
That's how it opens. Let's see if I can get this on. Yeah, afraid I won't get it off though. <laughs> the other day, on a uh, seed bead uh, jewelry unboxing video I was doing, I put a bracelet on and <laughs> could not get it off. It's like, help me. <laughs> So that's a nice bracelet. They call those the clamper bracelets. Oh, but see, it's oval shaped, so it's not going to fit onto my bracelet bar. I'll put it down here. And this is going to go into my repair lot. I think this is just plastic beads. Um, but it's missing a jump ring, but I think I can fix that. Or I'm working on a children's bead lot too. Um, you know, for kids that want to either make their own jewelry or play dress up. So this might, since it's all plastic beads, it might be a good piece for that. And I'm getting more beads from this video that are going into crafts. <laughs> Uh, here's another stretchy bracelet. It looks like shell and hmm, faux pearl beads. So we'll put that on here. Yeah, I can put bracelets and necklaces on that bar. Cool. Can't really see it though. Oh well. No, no tangles. No tangles. Here's another bracelet. Um, oh, I see. It's wire. So somebody probably made this. What's that? The EY, the hand symbol, where they call it the Hamsa. So it's three of those on um, gold tone wire, and it's a bangle bracelet. And um, yeah, I have a problem with the bangle bracelets. I have smaller wrists, but big giant hands. And these bracelets like this, I can't get on. I need, I need to have a clasp on my bracelets. <laughs> I'll put that one down there since these both have rhinestones. And another little stretchy bracelet. Some sort of gemstone, kind of like a matte jasper. And some kind of rosy gold little square beads. And another one. Looks like, ooh, these are weird beads. I've never seen this shape before. And a frosted glass, almost like a slate color, but they're kind of um, faceted too. And then some little peach pearls and these little gold, these like little squares. It's cool. Ooh, this is fun. I might use this for crafts. It's just, uh, again, an elastic bracelet. I don't really go for these bracelets that are all a single bead. I like to mix things up and have different types of beads, little spacers. So I might put this right into crafts. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. You can wear it, but yeah, I think I'll use this for pieces, parts. And if you hear any rumbling in the background, I think a big thunderstorm is working its way through. So we shall see. I might have to redo this video or finish it later if the power goes out and I lose lights. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Tangle. There we go. And this is a memory wire necklace. I get a lot of the memory wire bracelets in the lots. I don't see too many of the necklaces. This is, looks like some kind of painted um, gemstone, maybe. Like, it's got a copper colored paint on it. Different. And then this is just kind of coppery, goldy metal and some, not even rhinestones, just glass, or are they acrylic stones? Yeah, and this is all plastic. These beads are all plastic. Uh, memory wire. Let's 
Interesting. Uh oh. See fine chains. Yeah, I get nervous when I start to see a lot of these fine chains. These fine chains are what cause the tangles. They get wrapped around everything. It's even wrapped around itself right now. Hang on. Okay. There you go. Oops, backwards. Little um, gold tone kind of wreath with tons of rhinestones, little green colored stone, almost looks like peridot, and a fine, fine chain. Don't see any maker's marks. Yeah, don't see any maker's marks on the tag either. I'll put that here. So this is cool because this is the type of bracelet I was kind of talking about before where you've got a piece of chain for either a bracelet length or a necklace length. And then you just put these little charms. See how you do these little wire loops? And you can do glass beads, metal charms, shells, gemstones, whatever you want. This one's all like gemstone or is this power shell or abalone and little metal charms and some beads and it's got the extender class so you can make this different sizes you can make it tiny or all the way to that size so yeah i want to start doing that i just won the four um craft supply lots on is it ebay i got four on ebay i think one or two on shopgoodwill.com and so I have to sit down this weekend and start making stuff figure out what I'm gonna make so that's cool I know the elastic bracelets would go together quicker but I just have had too many of the stretchy cord bracelets just break on me. Like, you know, you don't know how old they are when the elastic starts giving out and you got beads everywhere. What the heck is this? Okay, it's suede or faux suede. Looks like metallic colored suede on a bunch of metal, multi strands and, oh, is this a magnet class? Hang on, yep. Magnetic clasp. That's cool. I haven't seen this type of magnetic clasp before. Eh, don't know if I'm a fan of it or not. The suede, I mean, how do you clean it if it gets dirty, you know? Different. We'll see. I might harvest it to use this clasp for a different project. I just think that clasp is unique. I'll put this there oh these are probably gonna be tanglies and another stretchy cord bracelet this is three strands just kind of hollow gold or silver tone and crystal beads but yeah this is going into crafts because look at that elastic it's starting to see it's not really stretching back and at some point you're going to pull it apart and it's just going to keep going <laughs> it's going to go be rain and beads well this is disappointing the first two uh videos were all really great stuff now in the center of this 20 pound bundle it's some kind of meh stuff like i'm not so impressed and is this Aaliyah Sophia? It is. Just did one of my, um, I do a different series of videos. I have different playlists and one of my playlists is on Meet the Artist. And I just did one on um, this costume jewelry um, design house, Leah Sophia. There you go, it goes like that. And her, their pieces, they're no longer in business. Um, their pieces are all marked. They all have these little tags that say Leah Sophia. And oftentimes they're also stamped on the jewelry. Um, 
like if it has a solid metal back you'll have, see it will be also be stamped on the jewelry itself not just the tag on the chain um, that's nice this is that uh what do they call that like the snake chain cool Oh, tangles. No, we do not want tangles. No tangles. Come on. There we go. And this lightning bolt. Oh, I think this is Harry Potter. Got the lightning bolt on here. Kind of gunmetal color chain, lobster clasp, and. It's kind of faded. Yeah. This is Harry Potter. Let me get out my loop. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And this is just like, um, I wonder if somebody made this. It's like one of those little, um, you can buy these in the craft stores and then you put the paper under on the bottom, kind of glue it in place and then top it with a clear stone or a little clear square or glass or, yeah. Harry, yeah, there, now you can see it. Harry Potter. It's magic. <laughs> Don't know if anybody would be interested in that. That doesn't really go with any of my jewelry. I usually sell a lot of my jewelry in bundles, like themes. Um, all green or all gold or all rhinestone or all earrings. And I just sold a goth glam bundle, gothic glamour bundle that included a jewelry box. I was thinking of doing a mermaid core bundle, you know, with all shells and pearls and mother of pearl. But um, I hadn't thought about doing magic or Harry Potter. <laughs> Only have that one piece. So it's going to be kind of hard to get a bundle together. But let me know if you're interested in that piece. Uh, we'll make a deal. I don't see any maker's mark on this. It's just, uh, is it navy or? Yeah. It's almost kind of like cat's eye effect. Like glass with a little silver tone pendant. No maker's mark on this little kind of silvery Snake chain with a lobster clasp. Don't know who makes that. No clue. Ooh, here I can start putting together another gothic glamour bundle. This is exactly the type of thing that would go in that. So this is kind of heavy. It's all um, metal jump rings and glass beads it's kind of this what they call that like chain mail so they put whoever made this put all the little jump rings together to make this chain mail bib and then they came back and did all the glass wire loops which is the same technique I was just showing you on the bracelet um somebody made a whole necklace out of this and here's the neck chain oh, let's see if we have a maker's mark See a little tag. Get out my loop de loo. Oh, nothing on that side. Oh, I can't really make it out. It's in script. Uh, hmm. Lonnie, maybe? L A R or N? It's, hmm. I don't know if that's going to show up. Uh, here, no. No, it's not even Fogia there. Don't know who that is. So, I'll have to do some more research or do a Google Lens to see if it comes up. Q. Sparkly. Here's a little stretchy bracelet with little pink cat's eye beads. 
Again, I might just end up using that for crafts. Uh, just a single strand of the same type of bead. Yeah. Here's a little memory wire bracelet. Little black and crystal and smoke, smoky gray beads. I think they're glass. Ooh, oh, that's a tiny thin chain. So here's a little classic necklace, um, faux pearls, gold tone chain, lobster clasp and extender. Looks like it has a maker's mark tag. Let me see if I can figure out who this is. This is Monet. Let's see if I can show this. I don't know if it's my lighting. I'm having a problem with. Let's see. No, it does not want to focus. Here, focus. Monet. Is that too far back? <laughs> yep, Thunder Boomers. Probably gonna lose power, internet, everything. Hmm. <laughs> I was without internet for half the day yesterday. My internet service provider was upgrading service in my neighborhood. It's supposed to be faster and greater. And they finished late yesterday, and today my internet is slower than dirt. <laughs> I don't know. So I tried restarting my computer. Let's see if that has any effect. So this looks like mm, possibly shell or faux shell. Feels a little plasticky to me. I'm thinking maybe that's faux shell, like abalone wannabe. Maybe. Yeah, it feels plasticky. On um, a silver tone chain, and where's the clasp? Okay, is this a fit over the head? Nope, here it is. Lobster claw clasp with the extender. Don't see any maker's mark. Almost long enough you could double it. Here's another style of jewelry I don't really get thrilled about. It's, oh, this might be metal though. A lot of the times it's just kind of plasticky cord, but it's like they do, um, what are these? Like the illusion necklaces. It used to be popular a few years or decades ago. Um, multi strand, looks like five strands, and then they just kind of float these sections of beads and the problem is this stuff gets tangled on everything so I think it's mostly glass pretty colors though kind of purple cranberry pinks red amethyst so and it's got the bead caps to finish it lobster class and extender and let's see it looks like it has a Oh, I don't even need my loop for that one. Coldwater Creek. I got clothes from them years and years ago. Are they still around? I think the store is closed, but I think the catalog is still around. Coldwater Creek. That's nice. It's just you have to keep it away from everything else because it just wants to tangle on everything. That almost might work for if I'm doing another Gothic Glamour bundle. The thing with the Gothic Glamour bundle I just sold, I had this amazing um, kind of vintage or retro jewelry box. It was a uh, heart-shaped, uh, kind of embossed pleather in two tiers. And when you opened it up, it had red velvet lining. So I just thought that fit in well with the Goth Glam kind of vibe. This is definitely going into crafts, it looks like. Might be real pearls. Brown's colored pearls, but look, the elastic is about to give up. Give up. 
See how it's all yellowed and frayed? So that's going into my craft pile. I know a lot of people um, leave me a comment. Um, a lot of people sell the these craft lots. Do you sell the craft lots or do you keep some of it to um, make into your own projects? You know, I, I made jewelry for many, many years. Um, used to make this really kind of intricate sea bead jewelry. I don't do that anymore. It's just I can't work with beads that small anymore. But yeah, I even did my own patterns. Actually, a couple of them are right there. <laughs> Man, it's so weird. There's a picture and there it is. Um, but I'm just thinking now they're doing all this costume jewelry and a lot of it, you know, isn't wearable. I don't know if I'm going to sell the bundles or I just decided I'm going to start making some bracelets and necklaces and earrings and see how that goes. So... And I don't have to buy as many beads because I got beads. So I think this piece is signed. This is different. It, I think it's faux pearls. But it's kind of braided or woven. That's really unique. See how that gold little chain or whatever it is is all... I don't know. What's that technique? Is that crochet or is it just uh, woven? Oh, it's got a fish hook clasp. Uh, how do you work these? You pull it out, then. Is it operator error? Oh, you push it in. There we go. And then you undo the hook. Yeah, it looks like there's a maker's mark. Hang on. Let me get my loop. And that is Avon. So that's real sweet. Kind of tiny. Probably 15 inches. Maybe 16. But I have a thing to measure it. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, about 14 inches. Tinsatana. Oh, I gotta speed this up. There's gonna be 50 more um, videos before I have this 20 pound lot unboxed. <laughs> oh, what's this? This is like the, um, I'm gonna say Pandora style. I don't know if this is actual Pandora. Uh, Maybe you could tell me. Oh, what's this thing? It's got a safety chain, but see how it's attached to these? Oh, I guess that's so you can well, you undo this. And the safety chain is still there. Yes? No? I don't know. And it's just these bigger beads that I'll slide on this. And oh, Does this key fit in the lock? No. <laughs> Looks like it should fit in the lock and open it up, but no. Don't think so. So are those still in style, these bigger beads, you know, that have the little metal interiors and mostly glass? I don't know if those are still popular or not. Starting to see him come up in some of the mixed jewelry lots, so I don't know if everybody's getting rid of their collection. Um, this is nice, multiple strands of sea beads and a little red and kind of bronzy, black, orange, and these little spacers, but um, on the stretchy cord. And you know how I feel about that. I was afraid that. Might give up the ghost. That one seems to be in okay condition. No, I'll put that down here. And a little stretchy cord bracelet, but the stretchy starting to come 
Not so stretchy. I don't know. This I'll probably put in the crafts. These, this isn't exciting to me, but um, these are great spacer beads to put in between other beads, to put in between bigger beads or... Yeah. Oh, this has a tag on it, though. Oh, I can't tell. It looks like initials, but... Hmm. Don't know. Uh, no, this just does not want to focus today. Ah, this is all tangly. Tangly, tangly. Yeah, and this is kind of a copper or rose gold multi chain necklace. Looks, looks like three strands. And some beads and that ends the longest strand here wait do I have that backwards yeah oops and is there anything on the tag or no so I don't know who makes this <coughs> oh excuse me <coughs> goodness Here's a strand of faux pearls with a silver tone chain. And it's got a toggle clasp. Looks like there's writing on the clasp. Let's see if I can make this out. Mm. Mary Kay? Is that the company that did the makeup? No, they made jewelry too. Are Mary, is Mary Kay still in business? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Oh, come on, don't want the tangles. Seriously. And okay, maybe we have to undo this to get this one untangled. There you go. So, ooh, this is what, like little dancer, ballerina, silver tone, and lots of uh, purple rhinestones on her tutu. And this silver tone snake chain with a lobster clasp. I don't think there's any maker's marks, but that's real sweet. Wee. Okay, and what was it tangled on? It was tangled on this monstrosity. <laughs> oh, goodness. I can't even tell what this is supposed to be. Okay, where's the clasp? I don't even know. Oh, it has New York on the tag. Oh, yeah. I have to spend some time. So, it's... um. Antique silver tone. It feels very dirty. It's like, ugh. ugh. It's got the lobster claw clasp and the extender. And it's got a bunch of pearls. This is all tangled and jumbled. This is not how it's supposed to hang, but... Um, yeah, I'm not really feeling that right now. So, I'll put it to the side. I'll deal with it later. Eh, <laughs> poo, poo. <laughs> Guess I should keep some wipes, uh... You know, container of wipes by my desk because, ooh, some of these bundles quite dirty. Um, okay, so somebody is gonna have to educate me on what this is. How the heck do you open it to get it on? Does it pull out? Does it twist off? Does it snap? Wait, am I doing anything here? I just feel like I'm spinning it, but nothing's happening. Oh, is it coming undone? No. What is this? Who makes this? How do you do it? <laughs> so, a bunch of silver tone charms. Um, I don't even know. Maybe Noah's Ark, sunglasses, anchor, ship's wheel, turtle, 
seahorse, palm tree, and a pink rhinestone slipper. So somebody is in Florida. I'm in Florida. <laughs> but how the heck does this class work? I have no clue. Because nobody's getting that on. <laughs> wow. I don't quite understand. Oh, does it hinge? No. Oh, there it goes. Goodness. Okay. Gotcha. Solved. Doing. I'm going about half an hour already. Hmm. Oh, these two necklaces stuck on each other. What the heck is going on here? No. Oh, okay. So I got this big honkin' silver chain. This kind of looks like chain mail. It kind of. Come on, focus. The textured rings, like little jump rings. And the clasp is at the front. It's got this big lobster clasp. But instead of at the back of the necklace, the lobster clasp hangs right at the front of the necklace. And it's got this big, this looks like a chandelier drop. <laughs> got this big honking crystal, a little floor de lis and a key, a little lobster clasp, and this big chain. And don't see any maker's mark. Hmm. But that's cool. It's kind of heavy. I would like to know who made you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fine chains getting tangled on everything. Let's see if I get, get some stuff out. Bump, tangle, please. Okay, we got this. Antique Silvertown. That chain's cool. Again, it's like the chain mail, but this is much smaller, kind of oval shaped jump rings all hooked together on this nice blingy rhinestone pendant that could use a good cleaning. Oh, is it missing? No, it's got something in the middle. The sparkly. Thought it was missing a stone, but nope. Uh, oh. Is that Leah Sophia? No. Lock Tam 2 USA L O C K E. I think T A M 2 USA. Hmm. Don't know who that is. That could work with my Gothic Lamb bundle too, maybe. Ooh, look at this bracelet. It's stretchy and I thought this was a clasp, but it's stretchy and this clasp doesn't actually open. Is there some writing on it? S and D is at Stella and Dot, maybe? And it's got the rhinestone dot. But yeah, I totally thought this was <laughs> a clasp. I'm like, I can't open it. And that's like, oh, it's stretchy. <laughs> Fooled me. Let's move these bracelets over so I can fit some more. Lots of bracelets. And the first video I did on this 20 pound Chop Goodwill jewelry lot unboxing had loads of bracelets in it too. Um, so that's nice. I don't always get bracelets. I mean, not just the stretchy ones. A lot of, um, you know, good old fashioned bracelets with class. So here's Bright and Shiny Silver Chain. Two strands. It goes into this kind of silver balls with bead caps. And then these are our um, acrylic blue beads and just hooked together with the little wire loops. Double strand. And oh, that might have a maker's mark. Mm -hmm. Um, and is that Roman? I think that's Roman. I think that's who it is. 
I looked that up the other day in another piece of jewelry. Don't quote me on it, though. <laughs> I've only been doing this costume jewelry stuff for, what, five or six weeks? So, not the expert. <laughs> I'm making this stuff up as I go. Is this Brighton? No, nope. Leah Sophia. Fooled me. So, I totally thought this was going to be Brighton. But this is Le Leah Sophia. Really cool heart. It's got some open filigree work here. And then the center is all rhinestones. Little pendant. Uh... And it's stamped LS. Now, if this was a solid piece of metal instead of open like this, it would be stamped Leah Sophia, the full name, but it just says the LS. And this really cool double strand kind of snake chain, but really heavy duty. And I think there's more rhinestones there. And it's got the extender, lobster clasp. And it's got, let's see. Yeah, Sophia. Nope. Oh, I did the earrings the other day, so I'm having the earrings in this batch. There we go. I'll put this down there. Okay. Yeah, get back here. Bigger necklace board. Hang on. Is this one taller? Yeah. Oh, that's going to block my bracelet, so. Do that. Well, you can't really see the bracelets anyhow unless I do that. Yeah. Cool. And loads of fine chains. Let's see if I can pull any of these out. Oh, this is cute. It's like a uh, porcelain or ceramic. I guess that's like a decal, a little floral rose decal on a gold tone pendant. And I think I see a maker's mark gold tone chain. A little spring ring, spring ring clasp. Try and say that five times fast. Spring ring, spring ring, spring ring. <laughs> um, oh, Avon. Yeah, very cute. There's another brand I didn't know made jewelry. I know they, you know, made the skin so soft and all kinds of makeup and perfume, but I guess I didn't really know they made jewelry too. And now I'm finding all kinds of Avon jewelry in these mixed jewelry lots. Yeah, tangle, tangle, tangle. No. Hmm. Okay, what the heck is this? Oh. You're number one. You're number one. <laughs> it's a silver tone. Um, yeah, a little... Are those the right stones? Teeny tiny or... Yeah, teeny teeny tiny. And more rhinestones on the little pendant loop. And uh, this silver tone chain. Very slinky. And it's got the lobster clasp. And I don't see any maker's mark. What the heck is this? Uh, diplomat. Okay, I need help with this one. Don't have any clue. Um, it's this. I call that. It's like the stuff you use for your um, ceiling fans for the poles, but it's got this weird. Um, 
like maize. It says GS. And it's got this little turquoise enamel donut. It says diplomat. And then it's got a peace sign. Uh, so I have no clue. <laughs> what is this? What am I looking at? I don't know. It says GS on the back of the Diplomat Donut, too. I, I don't know what those are. But it's just some charms that mean something that somebody slapped on that little ball chain. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Yeah, what's this thing? Mm, okay, silver tone chain. Oops. Interesting little links and it's got some bigger loops and little dangly bits and it's got this whole mess of stuff at the bottom. Looks like pearl, pieces of pearl, um, silver tone shells, more dangly bits. Is that real? Yeah, I think that's real pearl. I don't know what you call that. It's not an actual pearl, but it's the same stuff that the pearl's made out of. Um, does this have any kind of maker's mark? Yep, I think it does. I see some writing on a tag. This is Stella and Dot. Here's the thing right here. Let me, no, oh, other side. I wish this would focus. Still end up. Interesting. <clears throat> what, 46 minutes? Well, I don't think I'm going to film 900 videos. Do some, do, how many videos do you do for one of these bigger lots? I mean, I have seen somebody, oh, I forgot what her YouTube name is. She had like a 38 pound lot or something like that. And she did like eight or nine videos. I don't know. I'm just, I've got like six boxes of stuff that has come in in the past few days that I'm kind of jonesing to start doing that. So hmm. I'll probably at least do one more after this. Oh, this has got all fuzzies on it. Just a little stretchy bracelet, kind of a limey green. So let me know in the comments when you get these bigger bundles, how do you handle it? Do you do 900 unboxing videos if that's what it takes to get you through it all? <laughs> it's like, hmm, I'm kind of bored. I'm done. I'm over it. It was fun for the first minute. <laughs> it was a real cute ba bracelet, a little gold tone, a little kind of like knot or sailor's knot with rhinestones and this nice little... Gold tone chain. Don't see any maker's mark. And it's got the little spring ring clasp. It's tiny. Oops. There. Another bracelet. And it's not stretchy. Thank you. It's a proper bracelet. Uh, <laughs> with toggle clasp. That's nice. A lot of silver tone beads and purple glass beads. Let's see. It's got a little star. Is there any writing on the star? Nope. I don't know if the star is the sign of a certain designer or design house. Let me know in the comments if you know who that is. It looks tiny. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I should get one of those Bracelet mandrels, but the only ones I've seen, it's, it's a plastic. It comes flat. It gets shipped to you flat, and then you're supposed to fold it in half and stick it onto itself to make a bracelet sizer. And the reviews I saw on Amazon were just like, well, if you don't have it completely accurate, it's not accurately measuring your bracelets. So, hmm. Don't know. Here's one, another one of those, what I call those illusion... Kind of look, three strand necklace, antique silver chain, bunch of different blue colored beads, and it's got a lobster clasp with an extender, 
And it's got a tag, so let me see if there's a writing on the tag. Oh, I think it's Leah Sophia. Yeah, that's another Leah Sophia piece. Oops. Come on. I just think it's funny. Um, now that I've done that Leah Sophia, did that Leah Sophia video the other day. Now I'm finding tons and tons more Leah Sophia. It took me a while to get like seven or eight pieces of Leah Sophia all collected. And now it's like every other piece of Leah Sophia. <laughs> Oh, another stretchy bracelet, um, glass beads, kind of a peachy colored, and these little smaller peachy beads with these little gold accents. I don't know. Stretchy card, don't know. Hmm. This is different. All different kinds of beads. This is like, not fabric, what is that? Some kind of jute. <laughs> A bunch of different glass beads, metal beads. That feels like wood. That's glass. That might be like ceramic. More glass, wood. A little gold chain, lobster clasp. That's a cool little extender. And what's it say on the tag? Oh, it's a rhinestone. Oh, Chico's! I don't even need my loop for that one. The Chico's piece. Hmm. Another thing that I didn't know a lot of these clothing stores or mall clothing stores, they made jewelry too, because I'm finding a lot of it now. With the J Crew, what else do we have? We had this Chico's, we had the Coldwater Creek. Who else makes jewelry? Don't know. Here's an interesting bracelet silver toe, big, pale purple acrylic stone. Definitely could use a cleaning clamper bracelet. Uh, Oh, might see a Maker's Mark. Let me get my loopy. That's a jewel, jewel mint. Looks like jewel mint. Never heard of them. Ow. Just pitched my finger. There you go. Blingy. Bling, bling, bling. And we'll follow it up with another blingy piece. So kind of pale amber or pale peach glass faceted beads with the little gunmetal wire loops. Really long chain, doesn't have a clasp. Just fit it over your head. And it's got this big peachy glass pendant. This looks like, um, this looks like solder, right? And they've like, uh, antiqued the silver color. So it almost looks black. That's interesting. Goes on forever. Let me put that down there. No, it looks like I have not made a dent in this pile, but I feel like I've done quite a few pieces, but hmm, I've got 54 minutes and I really don't want to go much over an hour for each video. What's the longest video you've ever done or the longest video you've ever watched? I think mine are an hour, hour and 10 minutes maybe are my longest ones. Um. A lot of my videos are much shorter in the 20, 30, 40 minute range. Let's see. Here's a bracelet I have in my hand. I'll show you in a minute. 
It looks like the Alex Anani style, but it's got a tag and it's not Alex Anani. It's Dol Zara Premium Clay Beads. Dol Zara, J I L Z A R A. I have never heard of them. I was just going to automatically guess this was sort of a Alex Anani, but I guess this is like polymer clay. And then those are made by Jill Zara. So another new one. Mmm, getting tangles. Tangle, tangle, tangle. Oh no, another one of those illusion ones. Let's see. Oh, it looks like I've got some bracelets on the bottom. Maybe I'll just pull out some bracelets. It's easier. Uh, another stretchy cord bla bracelet. This is kind of an opaly seafoam green teardrops gold tone. That's kind of cool. And oh, here's another clamper bracelet. Oh, this is very nice. This could go in my next gothic lamb bundle. Uh, black enamel, then silver filigree, some icy rhinestones. Opens up here, kind of oblong shape instead of circular. Let me see if there's any maker's marks on this. Nope, don't see any. But that's very nice. What the heck is this? Oh, here's another one of these bracelets that I might put into crash. Remember earlier I showed you this peachy one. Here's the same thing um, in yellow. To me, this on its own, it's not that exciting, but I think I could turn this into some earrings necklace bracelet by adding some other beads to it. Yikes. Tangly, tangly. What the heck is this thing? Some big honking stuff. Uh. Ooh, here's another bracelet. This is another style. I'd say it's Brighton, but I've had a bunch of stuff that I think is Brighton. I don't think I've ever had any actual Brighton. I think Brighton has a tag on their jewelry. Oh yeah, it's starting to pour rain. I'm going to wrap this up. I have a feeling the power is going to go out any minute. This is nice. It's kind of um, it's like candy. <laughs> like Halloween candy. Or like the thing that you feel sleepy. Very sleepy. <laughs> oh, that's a paw print. Like a dog paw print. I don't know. If you know who this is, let me know. It's got the lobster clasp. I don't think there's any maker's mark. It's chunky and it's got some weight to it. So, very nice. Um, okay, so we've got the Noah's Ark deluge going on right now. So, yeah, I'm going to shut this down. This is Lens Mike. This was part three of my shopgoodwool.com mixed jewelry lot unboxing. Um, if you haven't watched parts one or two, you can go back to my channel and watch those other videos. Um, stay tuned for part four, um, and possibly part five. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.